springy robot moles with a badass hammer. Awesome. Repeatedly tapping a touch screen over and over and over and no, definitely not awesome. It's a good thing this is free because there's no amount of money worth paying for mallet mayhem. <laughs> Released to the App Store in 2011, Mallet Mayhem is from Rubicon Development. This is a free game playable on the iPhone and iPad. A very simple take on the classic game of Whack-A-Mole. So animals and, and things pop up from holes in the game board and you have to whack them. Whack the wrong ones, you lose time. Whack as many as you possibly can before time expires. Mallet Mayhem has three different game boards. You have the 3x3 Moon Madness, the 2x3 Flower Power, and 4x3 Cheese Challenge. Their dimensions aside, they all play the same. It's Whack-A-Mole with different creatures. The difference is, Whack-A-Mole is awesome. This, not so much. <laughs> The first problem is that your tapping isn't always responsive. I had a few rounds in which most of the taps didn't register, even though I was clearly touching the appropriate creatures. After that, I realized I had to slow down so it could recognize my taps. And slowing down is not an ideal strategy in Whack-A-Mole. You can also tap the same guy repeatedly to earn multipliers, but I didn't have much success with that approach. I actually got higher scores just from single tapping these things than from trying the multi-tap approach. I don't know, I might, I might have been doing it wrong, but the thing is, I was too bored to really care. The game doesn't even have smart bombs. <laughs> Mallet Mayhem is what it is. It's a free iOS version of the Whack-A-Mole with three different board configurations. And if you have kids who like to use your iPad, it's not an awful choice. Otherwise, I'd rather deal with a carny and play it for real than mess around with Mallet Mayhem. This game isn't even worth the free ride.